What's going on guys? It's your boy Abbo here with All Things Sports and we are going mobile today. We are doing some vlogging and driving, but don't tell anyone. But one of the things that I really wanted to talk about today was that Reggie Wayne signed with the uh, New England Patriots and the first thing that they said was really funny was traitor, um, kind of all of the extra stuff that goes along with that, him being Peyton Manning's weapon for so long, they were such a good pair, and then Tom Brady comes out and says that, you know, he thought that when Peyton Manning's career was done, that was going to be the final nail in the coffin to solidify himself as, as better, and then, you know, with all the things surrounding the Patriots, people are speculating that obviously Reggie Wayne's going to come in and then just divulge what Peyton Manning likes to do, and the type of system he likes running and his weaknesses like these guys haven't played against each other for the last I don't know 13 years and it was just really funny but the the topic for today's video is how productive can we realistically be when we're talking about Reggie Wayne with Tom Brady and Reggie Wayne this last season had uh, 64 receptions for 779 yards and two touchdowns now I might be off by a reception or two or a yard or two but I know it was 60 something and 77 something hundred yards and two touchdowns that's a fact so the thing that the new england patriots i feel like wanted to do with this was they wanted to bring in a savvy smart receiver reggie wayne is not going to be a fantasy commodity at best he would be a wide receiver three with brady playing and that might even be stretching it he might even be closer to a wide receiver four because you have to feed gronk you have to feed edelman um and it's not like lafell technically is going anywhere but the reason why I feel like they really brought him in was because the Patriots are a very smart team. Now, I'm not a Patriot fan, I'm not a Patriot hater, but the Patriots run a very smart, concise system. And the problem that they've had with LaFell in my eyes is that they can't run option routes with him. Now, this was one of the things that got Eli Manning in trouble, and as a Giants fan, I would see this a lot, is that Eli Manning would throw what appeared to be really dumb interceptions but in reality, it was an option route. And what Eli read on the defense and what the receiver read on the defense were two completely different things, which is what resulted in turnovers. So the Patriots at times have wanted to do that. That's what they did with Randy Moss a lot of the times is they would have um, Randy Moss read the defense, Brady read the defense, and Brady would tip him off with a signal um, if it was just something he wanted to specifically do. But they would both read defenses at times, and they would both understand, you know, this route would be better than that route. They would just have two potential options and, you know, they would both obviously read the same thing and pick that. LaFell, from a mental standpoint, I feel like doesn't grasp um, the game at the NFL level mentally to the degree that they want him to. So a lot of the routes you see Brendan LaFell do well on are just very basic routes or if he has a big play, it's a very standard fly route. It's a double move and he's gone um, or he's just up the sideline. It's nothing very... Um, complex about it so what I think they want to do in Reggie Wayne is that when they get into these pressure situations um, or two-minute offenses or just a situation where they have to have a completion defenses obviously can line up with exotic looks and not typically give you what they have been giving you unless it's just a blitz in which case they're just hoping pressure gets to the quarterback but if it's not if it's the type of uh, zone or exotic blitz package I don't feel like they trust Brandon LaFell to necessarily deal with that, understanding what to do and what route to run. Um, obviously, teams are going to try to take away Gronk and take away an Edelman, um, and they can, you can do that to a degree. Obviously, if Gronk gets open, Gronk gets open, but you can kind of clog up the middle of the field. You can jam slot receivers, and Gronk, for the most part, lines up in one side of the slide, and Edelman will usually line up on the other side. It's very great you see them both lined up on the same side. So, what I feel what they want with Reggie Wayne is Reggie Wayne is not going to get double coverage. Reggie Wayne is going to be by himself, and after tearing his knee up, you would have to wonder how much he has left. But Reggie Wayne is a very smart veteran receiver. He understands the way defenses work, the way the NFL works, and how to be a successful receiver. So when they bring him in, I feel like they're going to use him in situations where interpreting the defense is, by definition of that statement, objective. They're going to want him to use his football expertise and understanding of the game as a receiver to make the right play, to run the right route, and to understand how Brady operates and where he wants the ball to go. Uh, I don't think this is necessarily for Garoppolo because I feel like the Patriot way um, offensively for as long as Garoppolo is their quarterback is going to be very straightforward. They're going to probably pound the rock and they're going to have very basic reads. 
for him. I wouldn't be surprised if you see Jimmy Garoppolo do half reads, which is what Colin Kaepernick and uh, Cam Newton did for a few years, and Kaepernick still does it to a degree um, to try to get him acclimated to the system. But Reggie Wayne is not going to be a stat sheet stuffer. He's not going to be the guy that they're going to look to. They're still going to Gronk first. They're still going to Edelman first. And Garoppolo, when he's quarterback, they're obviously going to try to pound the rock. But Reggie Wayne's there um, for intangibles and to be a smart receiver, to come up with clutch receptions at key times. But that's just my opinion on why they brought in Reggie Wayne. I guarantee you the Packers wish that he hadn't signed there because Jordan Ellison going down is a real pain. And for as much as you think Devontae Adams is going to come up and step up, and I think he's going to. He proved it in the playoff game and against the Dallas Cowboys. And playoff situations are, uh, they can't be duplicated. But you wish you had a veteran receiver, a guy that understands how things work, how defenses work, and how to get open. But that's not the topic of today's video. But that's just my opinion on why the Patriots brought in Reggie Wayne. I want to know what you guys think. Please leave your comments down below. This is that both all things sports. And I'll see you guys later.